Do you know how to protect your child from cyberbullying? It's a question that's more important than ever in our increasingly digital age. Today, we're going to break down some clear, actionable steps for you and your child to follow to ensure a safe online environment. One of the first things to remember is that if you or your child are being harassed or teased online, the best course of action is to just ignore it. It's also important not to provoke others online, or as it's commonly known, to flame. If a friend is being cyberbullied or cyber harassed, always be supportive. It's also crucial to know who, when, and how to report a cyberbully, cyberstalker, or cyber harasser. Always be cautious about what you post or share online. This includes images or videos that may be embarrassing, as well as offensive information or images. Be especially careful about posting personal information. Remember to check your digital footprint regularly and refrain from sharing any confidential information, even to people you may have been close to in the past. Practicing digital citizenship is key. This means being respectful and considerate in your online interactions. If you or your child are taunted online, know what to do. Understand that images can remain in cyberspace for years and that information shared online may be impossible to delete. Therefore, it's vital to protect your images from strangers and monitor a positive digital reputation. Be aware that sexting can be criminal and shared with others. Personal information posted or shared online can go viral. Everyone has a digital footprint, and it's essential to know what information can be harmful to your digital reputation. In the world of social media, be careful not to share personal information using platforms like Twitter. Regularly check your email and social media profiles for strange messages and posts. When it comes to online strangers, be cautious. Don't engage in sexual conversations, make phone calls, or agree to meet someone met online without telling loved ones. Also, never open an attachment sent from an online stranger or discuss financial information. If ever you or your child feels uncomfortable or fearful, log out immediately. Don't engage in online activities not approved of by loved ones. Remember, you or your child may be at a higher risk of being contacted by online strangers at night. Never accept free software, ringtones, or screensavers from online strangers. Lastly, do not have names on buddy or friends lists you do not know. Do not send personal information to others you do not know. Never disclose passwords with others met online and refrain from text messaging or chatting about sex online. In conclusion, it's all about being cautious, respectful, and aware when online. Protecting yourself from cyberbullying is not just about reacting when it occurs, but preventing it from happening in the first place. Remember these steps and you'll be well on your way to a safer digital experience.